Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video Robert Marawa and Tando Tabete spark dating rumors. Legendary sports broadcaster Robert Marawa who recently scored himself a new gig on radio. Well going off the rumors and the reports it seems like that is not the only thing that he has scored because according to the latest reports it appears that he has also scored a new girlfriend in his colleague and media personality Tando Tabete. Now Robert Marawa and Tando Tabete have sparked dating rumors after they were spotted looking lovey-dovey on what is reported to be a date recently. So according to the paper Sunday World to be more specific they claim that they have learned that the two have been spending a lot of time together. A lot of time together and apparently they've also been going on some dinner dates together. So what the papers are reporting is that the pair was spotted holding hands and looking like a couple at a recent dinner date about two weeks ago. So yeah, apparently the picture that Sunday World does have is from two weeks ago. And yeah, I mean, looking at the picture myself, I will say that they do look uh, all happy and lovey-dovey and uh, cozy, definitely cozy. So yeah, as you can see on that picture, it is smiles galore, smiles from ear to ear. They are looking a little bit cozy. They are holding hands. Look, nothing wrong with looking cozy. It is winter, it's cold, it's getting cold. Winter is here. But yeah, getting back to the report itself, they do say that they don't know exactly how long the pair have been dating, if they are dating, but they do say that they have been single for some time after breaking up with their respective partners. Now, Robert Marawa's last reported romantic relationship was with singer and actress Nelly Siwesbia from the hit ETV soapy Durban Jen, whom he allegedly was dating early last year. Now, when it comes to Tando Tabete, she was reported to be dating the river actor Lunga Shabalala. Now reports did come out quite recently that the two have broken it off. So if we are going to go off those reports, the two have been single for quite some time. And perhaps knowing that winter was coming, they decided, you know what, uh, we are tired of being a malustro. So let's do some maths, do some one plus one and get warm. But yes, I did mention earlier on that Robert Marawa has scored himself a new radio gig and yeah, he's uh, working for 94.7 and Tando Tabete is also at the station 94.7. So perhaps maybe that is where the two have met or maybe that is where the spark ignited into a full-on relationship. But nonetheless, according to the papers, they did approach Robert Marawa for a comment and he said that he does not know what they are talking about. Ah yes, deny, deny, deny until she is pregnant. Heck, even then, still deny it. Have a baby that looks like you, still deny. I will say this, at the end of the day, they don't owe us relationship updates. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this rumor that Robert Marawa and Tando Tabete are dating. Our next topic, so Mizu Mshongo says that Bonang doesn't last in friendships with people in her level. So yeah, the Idol's essay judge Somizi Mshongo has weighed in on Bonang's behavior on Young, Famous and African. Now I will say this, I've been watching it, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, it's not really my thing, I will put up my hands, it's not like, you know, I can't wait to watch the next episode, I'm watching it like a day at a time, sometimes skipping a few, few days, I'm on episode 3 so that should tell you how fast I'm watching it. But nonetheless, Somi Simshongo has actually weighed in on Bonang Mateba's verbal altercation with Namibian star Louise on Young, Famous and African. Now, Somizi slammed Bonang's behavior on the show. Somizi feels that Bonang was rude to Louise and could have handled the matter differently. Now, apart from that, Somizi also defended Kanyimba after she was accused of being rude to Bonang and forced her to leave. This is what Somizi said about Kanyimba. Kanyi would say things that we think about but are not brave enough to to say. For instance, she spoke about Bonang, saying that Bonang is not used to being in a room of people that are on her level. She was attacked for that by Bonang's fans, fair enough. However, the thing is with fans, when your fans are your fans, they don't even think you could do wrong. Definitely agree with what Somizi said over there. But yeah, let me play that clip of Somizi talking about the whole young African altercation. Should ever be remembered for saying Wang Chwaila Masiba. Not that she, she doesn't say that, but you know, there's certain brands that they control. Beyonce probably says FUs and this and this and this and this and this, but she knows where to say them and where to say them and who not to say them to. And I felt 
this time um netflix also did her dairy i think it did her dairy because one thing we will never take away from people like bonang is the power they have the power they hold she is one of the anointed she's got a, a halo when she walks into the room the room shines when she walks into the room the room feels her presence she's got presence that will never be denied so when you have that kind of presence know when to use it and when not to use it and know what to say and know what not to say know where to go and know where not to go i didn't watch the whole show when i just watched one episode i get it there so you must remember tiktok also shows clips you know so i i i didn't get to the part yaga louis i just saw it on on tiktok but the actual episode i only watched like 20 minutes of it so i felt like also netflix did her dirty because just to show how powerful bonang is bonang left the show way back they knew she left the show when they first started shooting if bonang was not that powerful they would never have added her scenes on the show if bonang was not that powerful they would never have used her on the trailer because that trailer said the queen is back and the numbers went through we are waiting for the queen even myself i'm like yes now that when we talk about young famous and african if you can't describe if, if someone asks you what does the word bonang means it means young famous and african i said bingo bingo so if bonang was not that powerful netflix was not going to use her on the trailer if bonang was not that powerful netflix would not have used her scenes um on on the show they could have edited them out and and trust me please answer me this if it was some of the cast members that left the show before the show ended do you think netflix was going to use them i doubt i doubt i doubt that tells you how powerful bonang is but does bonang know when and how to use her power i don't know and i don't think so you understand so i felt that she she overreacted that singer louis she was rude to louis and louis was being a gentleman and and her and swanky they really reached they tried to make something out of nothing and that for me was like okay now we we're reaching Look, one thing I will say is that, yeah, definitely that show needed Bonang. Look, I definitely do agree with what Somizi is saying over there. I mean, I only watched because I was like, oh, Bonang's going to be a part of the production. Turns out she's not really a part of it, like the whole 10 episodes. So I'm a little bit bummed about that. But yeah, that goes to show the power of Bonang that she was put in those trailers. It was made to appear that Bonang will be a big part of the show. But uh, to be honest with you, it does seem that she is not which just goes on to show her star power. So yeah, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about Somizi's take about Bonang's behavior on Young, Famous and African. And let me know if you have watched it and what did you think about the show. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.